How is it going, everybody? You're watching the Naval Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to remove and clear the system data category, also known as the other category of your iPhone storage. And this is super important, especially if your iPhone is low on storage. If you're getting those annoying messages, those pop-up messages saying that your iPhone storage is full, there's a high chance it has to do with this thing that I'm talking about, the system data category. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if we tap here on settings and then we scroll down, tap on general and then tap on iPhone storage, you'll see here all about your iPhone storage, your categories, your apps and everything. And if we actually scroll all the way down, keep scrolling, you see right there system data, your last option. As you can see here on my iPhone, it's taking up 14 gigs. And although this is a big number, I've seen people with 50 gigs, 100 gigs and more because the older the iPhone is, the larger this number will be. And if we actually touch here on system data, you see this brief description. So system data includes caches, logs and resources. So as you can see, Apple won't tell us exactly what those system data files are. And the real problem here is we can't remove it. So if we scroll to the side, slide to the side, if we try and tap and hold or something, we can't. Apple won't let us manually delete the system data files. But as I said, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do this. And if you're a little bit skeptical thinking, yeah, but should I delete it? Will there be a problem? No, guys, don't worry. There is no problem deleting those system data files because what they are are just temporary files. So those are files that iOS will automatically store, save to your iPhone storage, and they should, in theory, delete them after a while, remove them after a while. So it's normal for iOS to actually store those files, but the problem is iOS is bad at deleting them. So what you see here is just an accumulation of files and files and files. That's why, as I said, it gets bigger over time. So iOS will be constantly saving those files, those temporary useless files, but they just won't delete them. So then you have here tens, sometimes hundreds of gigabytes of your iPhone storage being taken up by system data. So let's get rid of them. And it's super, super easy. All you have to do is actually come back and by the way, if you actually want to see uh, in a graph how much of your iPhone storage is being taken up by system data, you can see right here on those categories by color, as you can see here, is the largest category on my iPhone personally. As you can see, system data right here, the gray one. So that's something I don't want. So let's come back. Let's come back to the first page of your settings. And the only way to remove it, to clear completely, is to scroll down, tap on general, scroll all the way down once again, and then tap on transfer or reset iPhone, the second to last option. Tap there. And then as you can see, we have two options and the option that we want is to erase all content and settings. You have probably seen this feature before and that's exactly what it says. We're gonna need to actually completely erase our iPhone, delete everything from our iPhone, wipe out absolutely everything, but and this is very, very important, guys. After we erase all content and settings, we can't, unfortunately, recover our data from a backup. We can't restore from our backup. From a iCloud backup or from a computer backup, we just can't do that. Simply because our system data files are there in the backup as well. So then there's no point. We may reset the iPhone, but then when we recover from, from our backup, our system data files will come with that backup. So then it'll be exactly the same. It'll all be for nothing. So as I said, we have to erase all content and settings and not recover from a backup. And don't worry, because I'm gonna do this process with you step by step. And you may be thinking right now, so I'll lose all my files, absolutely everything? And the answer is no. Don't worry, because if you tap here on your Apple ID, and then tap here on iCloud, you see that all of those files right here, all of this data are in your iCloud. So even if you don't restore from a backup, which is what I'm telling you to do, 
you won't lose any of that. So you won't lose your photos because you can use iCloud Photos. I do recommend that you use iCloud Photos. So then you won't lose any of your photos. Uh, you won't lose your contacts, your files within iCloud Drive, your calendar, reminders, notes, messages, absolutely everything that's here turned on and enabled on your iCloud page won't be lost. You won't lose any of that. What you lose pretty much are the apps, which you can easily download them one by one after the process. I know it's annoying. I know it's not what we want. It's kind of a hassle. Uh, it's kind of a, of a little bit of work here, but that's the only way. And for many people that have the iPhone storage completely full, that's the lifesaver, all right? So now that you got the idea that you need to have everything here turned on so you don't lose any of those files, and you know that you won't be able to recover from your backup, let's begin. And as I said, all you have to do is go to settings, scroll down, tap on general, and then as I said, all the way down, transfer or reset iPhone, and then we're gonna actually erase all content and settings. And then from here on, we're gonna just confirm everything, we can continue. We're gonna need to type in the passcode for the iPhone, tap on next, the screen time passcode, if you have it, if you don't have it, it won't ask you for that. And then it's talking about uploading remaining data to iCloud. As I said, we won't recover from a backup. We won't need a backup. So we definitely don't need this. So you can tap on erase now. And then of course, it'll ask you for your Apple ID. So type in your password for your Apple ID, then tap on turn off. And then as you can see, you'll see the Apple logo with a uh, progress bar here at the bottom. Let it do its thing. It's like a few seconds. It's super, super fast. You may see a couple screens like that. I mean, Apple logo with loading bar and then a second loading bar and then another Apple logo. That's normal. All you have to do is wait. You don't need to do absolutely anything. And then the iPhone will restart and show you the hello screen in just a few seconds. And then as you can see, there we have it, the hello screen. And all we have to do is simply activate our iPhone, set it up. And of course, I'm going to do it with you because I'm going to have to show you at the end that we're actually going to have a much lower, a cleared system data category. Let's go. So swipe up, language, country, manually, and then you're going to use a Wi-Fi network or cellular data you can choose. And then it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. As you probably know, it doesn't take a few minutes, just a few seconds. Let's wait. Data in privacy, continue. Face ID, I'm gonna set up later just to make it easier and faster for the video. But of course, you can go ahead and set up your face ID or touch ID. So set up later for me. Create a passcode. I'm gonna create a super hard one right here. <laughs> Use any way, I know it's easily guessed but it's just for the purpose of the video. So it's creating the passcode. And here we have the most important screen, apps and data, which is what we wanna do with our backup. And as I've said many times, we don't wanna recover anything from a backup because if we do, we're gonna bring back those system data files so we can't do that, all right? So we're gonna choose the option to don't transfer apps and data, the last option, don't transfer anything. And here, we're gonna type in our Apple ID, and with our Apple ID, we're gonna, in fact, bring back all those files that I mentioned that there are no problem with them, like your contacts, your, your messages, your calendar, your photos. You're gonna bring all of that back, not from the backup, but from the Apple ID itself. So, I'm gonna type in my email and password, and now tap on Next. And now it's asking me for a verification code. That's just that verification. I'm gonna type it in. And then as you can see, it may take a few minutes to set up, but of course terms and condition will pop up. You can agree on those terms, let it load. And then again, it may, it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. We're almost done. This is pretty much the last step. Now you can see, make this your new iPhone. You can just simply continue. Keep your iPhone up to date, continue and let it load. And then as you can see, welcome to iPhone, we're done. So you can swipe up to get started. As you can see, all of my files are here, but my iPhone is restored, all right? 
so I don't have any of those apps, anything like that. The iPhone is completely blank and clear exactly how we want it. But of course, all my notes, contacts, calendars, photos will start automatically downloading and you can simply go to your app store and manually download all your apps. But the most important thing here is, what about the system data files? Let's take a look. So if you go to settings and then everything is here, my Apple ID and all, and if we scroll to general, and then iPhone storage. And if we scroll all the way down, as you can see here, one gigabyte, guys, one gigabyte. Take a look at this, one. <laughs> so we won't be able to reset everything, like make this zero, simply because iOS still needs to actually store a few files here and there, but we went from 14 to one. And this will happen if you have 50, it'll go to one as well. And if you have 100, it'll go to one or less. So it's absolutely insane how good this process is of actually erasing, removing, and completely clearing your iPhone system data files. So that's it, and I'll see you in the next video as usual. Bye-bye.